And um, I'm hoping that one of your goals does not involve being part of a publicity stunt. There's a young man who some people have said is just basically trying to get um, at, get attention to himself. Yeah, get noticed. Now, we know that Blackface was one of the members of the defunct Plantation Boys, an all-time favorite of Nigerians. It will be such a delight, actually, to have Two-Face, Blackface, and Face come together to perform, even if it's one last time, mm. to perform Plantation Boys and all those songs. I it would need face. a lot of anointing. Uh, anointing oil actually sprayed on Blackface to allow that to happen. Well, but we saw that, okay, maybe they, Mo Hit didn't have as much drama as, as um, Plantation Boys did, but we had at Davido's 30 billion concert, the full Mo Hit crew came out to perform. What would we not do to have a full Plantation Boys performance? I will pay for that event. I'll be in the front, I'll be singing. I can imagine, you because know? I know you know all their songs. Oh, Plantation Boys. Okay, that's not the concept <laughs> of today's conversation. So Blackface has said that, you know, he didn't want, that Two-Face did not want Face to join the group. Maybe you should give us the full gist of what, what is going on. Okay, so the idea, oh, actually what I have on this um, is that one, he's, we all know that Two-Face and Blackface haven't been on the same page for at least the last 78 years, actually more than that. And then he has always found some way, which I don't understand why, to always discredit Two-Face's impute in the group plantation boys as it were then. So we had just then of the whole um, African queen. Mm -hmm. When African queen went viral, African queen is still a jam and a mm -hmm. half. But we had just then that Blackface said he was the one that wrote the lyrics to the song mm -hmm. and all that. But, you know, that one has gone. He, he now, actually did write the lyrics, but the point was it was bought. I don't really know what went down. Yeah. I can't say this is exactly what happened. because it, it was a song bought. But now we are hearing another painful. song in, dis in dispute. Let somebody love you. Let somebody love you, I think. So now, Face, two face Blackface is saying that um, Face stole his song. Efe Omar Rogbe, that was Two Face's manager, mm. stole his song titled Let Somebody Love You. And he said this in an interview today. He said it in an interview on the TV station. And he said he built the name Plantation Boys, but Two Face didn't want Face to join them back then. So my question is, what does it really matter if Two Face did not want Face to join back then? Is that something we should be talking about in 2019? Now, if it's the copyright infringement one, mm. if he can prove that Let Somebody Love You is his song and his song was stolen, by all means, they should dig it out in court. Of course. Because you have a right to your intellectual property. And when there is theft of your intellectual property, there should be damages. But my question is, why is it taking him so long to do this? Now, remember that even with the law that we studied, when we check out the law of equity, where they say, um, talking about the rule, principle of latches, that that when you, good, when you stay too long and you pretty much don't come out and report your case in court, it's like so you, you have statute, fitting your right. Bad. Well, I, I'm not quite certain. Your right to fight for That's that. That's not always the case. Yes, we know, well, the, you know, we know the doctrine of lashes and lashes so. and how, you know, certain matters can be brought because at, at, a, at a point it becomes statute yep. bad. Very but good. the same argument, some people will say, when they talk of R. Kelly, now R. Kelly is on the news and everybody mm. says, why are these women coming out now? Why now? You know, for me, it's like you can come out so long as you have a right. Whenever you have the balls to come out, come out and have your case. And you we know? still have the Talk question about of and have your day in court. how much evidence has been presented so far. We are not the court. At the end of the day, my issue is if you are sure about this, take it to court. TV station is not the court of competent jurisdiction. Take it to court. Take him to court. I think they already have a matter, you know, on copyright mm -hmm. infringement in court. Take this one to court and let the court be the deciding factor, you know, deciding who's right and who's wrong. Mm -hmm. But the one of Blackface said, Blackface did not say that, Two-Face said, why should we be doing all that? So the question is, do you think that this is just a publicity stunt or is Blackface just finding it hard to really move on from the fact that... The funny thing is, the face he's talking about in this matter is in very good relations with Two-Face. And he's just standing on the side and looking at him like, dude, this shouldn't even be coming out. Why are we even talking about this in the first place? If anybody, if any of us has to reach out to the other, Two-Face is that guy that anybody will say, Baba, show for myself. And he comes. He doesn't have an issue. But I'm asking this question, why is Blackface being a bad belay? To me, that's what it looks like. Um, I would say also, not just... Uh, in fact, I really uh, don't know how to weigh on this. So I, I it's, it's a pretty much sensitive issue, but I know that uh, with blackface, I see so I, I feel that sometimes, or maybe not just me, I've heard people, maybe my, my opinion has been influenced by what a I've heard a lot of people say, that sometimes it does seem that blackface is unable to let go of the fact that 
there are no more team. There's no more plantation boys. Everybody has moved on. Everybody has found the light. Toothpaste has made a name for himself. You go and do the same rather than sitting in a corner and sulk. Life will not always be fair to you. No, I, I think for me, he didn't get his own point of, yes, he wants to be popular. He wants fame. But I asked this question today when we were talking about this earlier. I said something good. Two-Face is the star that sings and everybody just sings to his because he has a way of, you know, pu putting up a great song that becomes a jam and a heat at the same time. But for you, Face, come on. R. Kelly wrote, you are not alone for Michael Jackson. And he made a name for it. Now, we know that you have great writing skills. Why don't you decide to be a great writer? As in now, you don't and have to be in there. the front of the scene. You don't have to be like the be singer. When it comes to there. music, there are people whose, whose talents would just be to write songs. And if you are singing and the song is not a hit and you really want a hit, write an amazing song for someone. That's write true. an amazing song for Two-Face. Let him allow you jump on it, you know. Build a relationship with him. Let him allow you. And it doesn't have to be Two-Face. It can be anybody. Anybody Tell else. the entertainer wrote a song for David O. So it's... Songwriting is a skill. We don't really need to start focusing on what happened in 1990 something. Yeah. And, you know, let's actually forge ahead. We wish Blackface all the best in his career, and just as we wish Face and Suface all the best in their career. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.